Fax Wizard. This is a heck of a lot easier than um, than using the control panel to set it up. So uh, if you buy one of these, you should take the time to do this, and hopefully you can put the data in more accurately than I can. Uh, this phone line is shared by everything. Uh, I don't have a distinct ra distinctive ring p pattern that I know of, but let's try it anyway. Uh, what's just in double and triple rings for fax calls? Is there an answering machine? Yes. Asking for trouble. No, I don't have DSL. No, I don't have a dollar modem. Okay, it's showing me how to uh, to hook all this up. Uh, wants me to uh, hook up the phone line. Next. Okay, we don't want to run a fax test. It's ready to go, the fax. Okay, congratulations. Okay, we want to set it as a default printer. You can uh, get exceptional online offers. You can download live essentials, and you can also uh, visit the Ma Market Splash uh, website. Which, if you buy this printer you, and you're going to do business documents, uh, brochures, marketing materials, etc., you should definitely uh, visit Market Splash. It's some pretty good stuff. Finish. Um, I'm sure it's going to nag me to register it. Okay, I don't want to do any of this uh, because this machine's coming off of here in a, in a couple couple days. So, finish registration. Don't fill anything in. Uh, please go away. The following fields are required. Well, uh, don't remind me again. Okay. So, Obviously, if you should rec uh, register your product if you decide to buy it, uh, this uh, MFP. So, okay, it can't be it. No, it's not it. All right. Uh, here we go. The installation process is complete. Well, let's see if there's anything different about scanning here. Under scanning actions, because this, remember the difference that this can do, is it can scan, uh, stitch together those uh, t originals and and print them or save them as large as um, uh, 11 by 17. Um, now we haven't installed any of that software yet. I, I don't uh, that Ar that ArcSoft stitch. Scan, scan and stitch. Um, so let's see what happens if we uh, click on this dialog here to scan a document or photo. Okay, scan size. Entire scan size. So it doesn't it doesn't say anything in here about analysis. You definitely have to do something with that. Uh Arcsoft software, so let's get that CD in the drive. It didn't ask us to install it uh, automatically, so it's up to you to install it at a later date. Um, I didn't notice anything in the documentation about it uh, being a requirement. Uh, let me look quickly here. Uh, register the product. Install the software. No, it doesn't say anything more than just install the software. So let's stick this ArcSoft thing in the in the drive. See what happens. Now this this Arc ArcSoft software, you can go to the work to the, to the system and copy and or scan ori originals larger than 8.5 by 14 
and the system will automatically use software that's in the in, in, embedded in the firmware here and sketch it together over here and uh, it'll send it to your workstation it'll copy it or it'll send it to uh, a memory card it's in one of these uh, memory card slots over here so it can already do all of this scanning and stitching stuff over here so I'm not so sure that you even need to uh, install this um, uh, ArcSoft software unless you f feel like you want to remotely scan uh, uh, remotely scan a and stitch together an original that's larger than eight and a half by fourteen. So let's keep going with this setup here and see what happens. Okay. Uh, go, go, go. Select program folder. It's going to uh, create a new one called Arcsoft Scan Assist Deluxe. Uh, I have a feeling this isn't, in, isn't integrated into the HP software at all. So, um, and since it's the only thing that's different between. Uh, let's see these two HPs that we have on here. You already watched the 8500 videos. The only difference is going to be the printer's the same, helps the same. This is this, that's the same. HP scans the same, same support website, same shop for supplies on install. So there's really nothing new to watch here. So basically hang in there and you know, we got zero percent going on this scan is stitch deluxe stuff that's not doing anything let's close that let's see how long okay here we go something's happening now once this gets loaded we'll, we'll run through that real quick and um, basically that's it hopefully uh, I haven't bored you to tears by this point Uh, it's moving along pretty well here. I'm liking what I'm saying. Scan and stitch to the locks, baby. All right, it's finished. That was that was quick. Now it's just hourglass. Nothing up to me to start it up. Let's see what it looks like here. Uh, locks off connect. Oh, please. What the heck is that? Can't, can't be simple. It's just got to be... Oh, I got an icon down here already. Arcsoft Connect. Is that it? That's what I get? An icon? Something running in the background? Wonderful. Oh. Uh, Check for updates, settings, uh, please. Oh, one way too. Okay, that was a, kind of a waste of time. So let's see what happens with this. Okay. No idea what this is all about. Don't want. Okay. Start by scanning a new page and loading all the sections from a page you've already scanned. <sighs> Load files. Scan. Okay. Free introductory version includes all the features for you. you can use as long as you want. Thank you, Arcsoft. If you like it, please support us by activating it. We'll activate it. Uh, 
it's not activated buy now purchase and activates it if you already purchase please uh, all right let's not get into that how to scan uh, scan first half of the page is showing you a pretty good thing of uh, uh, approximation of this machine if I click scan to please go to the preview screen to preview your scanning area first uh, close okay it's bringing up the uh, HP Twain driver Since I don't know what to do, it's just I'm just going to click scan. I, I I I don't see anything about 17 inch here or anything like that. So let's see what happens when I click scan. Okay, I got an original on the glass, like it says. Click scan. Okay, I assume that I have to say done here. Okay, I just turn the original over. Okay, better choose the same resolution, do it again. Okay, so done. Should stick a thumbnail here. Uh, there it is. Now all I need to do is um, after scanning the last page, it's click stitch. It's stitching in A3 single row. It says here should be less. It should say 11 by 17, but I'm not going to complain about that and it is telling us we use the same scanner settings for each scan uh, you can highlight and remove documents over here if you don't like the way they look uh, 97 98 percent 99 You can use the tools on the right to crop, straighten, and enhance the page. Auto enhance, straighten, crop, rotate. No, I mean, it, no. Uh, to, I don't want to save the picture. And it wants to save it as a TIFF. Uh, continue without saving. Goodbye. Okay, so uh, basically that's that that that's it. Uh, let's um, make sure that we didn't miss anything. You may not need to do that arc soft, soft soft stuff at all, since you can scan and stitch things together uh, right at the control panel. Um, it's probably more convenient. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions? You know what to do, and have a great day.